guys, that guy Perps here, back with another music reaction video. We're jumping back into the warning and continuing on our um, Queen of the Murder scene catalogue, I guess, or album review. Um, song by song, we've, we're up to the Stalker. Um, I did see when I when I did click on it, it, it started playing the first five seconds. I didn't have my headset on, so I haven't heard anything, but I did see Chapter 2. So. How I was explained is this album was set out in chapters. Um, I think there's four chapters, four songs per chapter or something like that. So obviously the first chapter, um, you guys have, have explained that it's, um, you know, how this young woman sort of grows and, um, you know, gets scorned through life and then becomes uh, that. And then the last one, the one, was wondering why um, she's not the one and, and why um, the love of her life or... I think that's what was said, um, like the lover sort of didn't choose her and chose other people. So we're moving into chapter number two. If you do like the reactions, guys, make sure to hit that like button. It does help the channel more than you realize. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. We do have the rest of this album to go. And then obviously as the warning keep releasing new stuff, we're going to go back over that. Any of their older stuff that we haven't already covered, we're also going to cover that too. Um, I absolutely love these girls and you know, I wish them all the success in the world. So um, without any further ado, let's get into this one. This is Stalker, The Warning, live at Lenario. You guys have also told me that this Lenario set is the one to do. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into it. See, I literally saw two seconds. <laughs> Also, as per suggested, I do have the lyrics up on the phone so I can follow along. And so if you do see me glancing down to, you know, this sort of direction, it's just because the phone's here. Um, but yeah, not that she's not enunciating her words, um, but sometimes when the heavy guitars kick in and they're full screaming stuff, uh, it, it does make it a little bit hard to, um, to pick up on everything. And if I can read ahead, ahead a little bit, I might get... Um, I might, might capture the story a little bit better. So already it has this sort of, this haunting quality to it, um, this sort of real raw emotion, um, like a, you know, a crazy ex going, you know, like, you're mine, I'm yours, like, um, yeah, like, just basically can't let go. It's crazy! Sort of like borderline stalkery feels like, um, 
you can imagine like the obsessed person sitting at home just longing for that person like why don't you know that you're mine like um i love you why can't you see this and, and all this sort of thing and like next second knocks at your door or you know it's following you home from the grocery store or something like that um and being that it's queen of the murder scene and then um you know she's saying that you know all this sort of stuff you, you can see that she, she's becoming like a bit crazed and obsessed um i think danny's really portraying like she's really getting into that uh, intensity of the character as well um yeah like Obviously, I'm, I'm going to sit down and listen to the whole album once I've reacted to it and, and really get into the, um, you know, the whole story and how it builds up and everything. I do lose that a little bit doing it song by song and, um, you know, having a couple of days in between. Um, but I, with your help in the comments section, I am picking up the intensity of it, how it's, um, you know, manifesting from this idea into this sort of craziness that now she's you know apt acting a little bit obsessed Those lyrics there, like, I want you to love me, touch me, let me in your heart. I want you to want me, hunt me, like I've done from the start. Like, it, it's sort of no no real surprise that um, whoever she's singing about, um, you know, and I know this is likely just to be a, um, you know, made-up story where, you know, letting her imagination run wild and that whole, you know, teenage angst sort of growing up and dealing with relationships and and everything combined like um you know or it could also be written about real life events uh, that she's read in the news or something like that of a uh, you know stalker or something like that i know they do draw inspiration from other things um but yeah if, if i got a text message or something or you know someone sent me a letter or they were just talking to me and they're like i want you to hunt me like i have done you from the start i'd be like whoa you know like um block delete uh apply for a new home somewhere and, and you know <laughs> i'd be moving interstate to another country making sure my passport's checked whatever changing my name um all sorts of stuff you know it's, it's very very intense you know and I suppose love does send you down those roads sometimes where, where you do, um, you know, get really intense and, and you act out and you do things that maybe you wouldn't normally do, but I don't know, it's a little bit red flag, red flag, red flag, run for the hills type vibes, you know? We have to take into account the song is called stalker you know so it's it's very much playing along all of those lines and she's depicted that very well
And then the next line, you know, like, if this was a, a movie, the next line is, you know, her just violently stabbing the person, saying, if I can't have you, no one will, you know, <laughs> like, um, yeah, the, en the energy, like, the whole, the whole vibe of the song just had that, that real sort of haunting sort of vibe to it, um, you know, it started off with the keys and everything else, but then, you know, Danny's delivery, um, in the vocals was, you know, very much, like, combined also with the lyrics and, um, you know, everything about that is, you know, red flags run, this, this woman is, like, a psychopath and I'm gonna die, um, you know, and that's not the way to go about a relationship, you know, <laughs> if you really love someone, um, yeah, this is the sort of thing, you know, you walk in and, and you know, there's a man kept in the basement as a pet, um, you know, all, all these, like, horror movie scenes are flooding in my head right now, but, um, now, there's five seconds left, I'm pretty sure it's all just gonna be, because, again, like on the other ones, oh God. so it's all just, you know, their symbol, which, which is fine, we saw that, um, again, like said down there, if you do go check out this video, jump over onto that link there, go check out their Patreon, if you can, um, you know, afford to be a member and you want to support the girls even more jump onto their patreon they do a lot of um behind the scenes stuff a lot of extra gigs a lot of a lot of everything on there um but yeah so far chapter two is off to a good start um i can see this really being the 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 chapter where you know her mental state it, it gets all twisted up like she's starting to you know, lust over something that, or someone that, that she can't really have or, um, you know, someone mentioned that the whole album's about that unrequited love and th this is when those sorts of vibes come out, like, um, you know, why don't you love me? Like, I love you so much, I will do anything for you and but and then you start, I don't know, like, I, I've never really gone into the stalkery sort of vibe sort of thing where, <laughs> where I want to be like, you know, like, I must have you at all costs, and you will be mine, or, or whatever, um, I don't know, maybe she asked him out on a nice date, or something, paid for dinner, cooked him a nice meal, <laughs> it might be coming across a bit better than, um, you know, uh, yeah, the mental state that she's obviously in now, but, um, yeah, he definitely lives up to the name of the, the, the title of the, the song, you know, like, yeah, you get, you definitely get those stalkery vibes from it, um, but yeah, guys, like I said at the beginning, if you did like the reaction, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Um, even if you don't like the reaction, hit the thumbs down. It all adds to the algorithm. Make sure you jump onto the comment section. Let me know of any... Um, obviously, we're continuing on the Queen of the Murder scene. So, don't maybe not suggest any of them because I'm going to get to them anyway. Um, and we've already done this Escape the Mind EP. Uh, there is a playlist for that on my channel in the playlists. Um... But yeah, if uh, if there's any other tracks from The Warning um, that you'd like to see me do, uh, make sure to let me know. Hit me up on Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, because like, in all honesty, um, you know, I see the back channel of the back part of the channel and I see all the statistics and stuff and uh, I know there's a high percentage that you're not. Um, I've said it before, like, there's, there's this, there's this risk that there may be some bad luck associated with not subscribing to the channels that you watch, so, um, just to avoid any, any risk or possibility of you, of you having bad luck, um, just click that button, you know, it, it's, it'd take a weight off your shoulders, and, um, you know, it, you can proceed with life knowing that, you know, bad luck's probably not going to come your way, because you've done the right thing, you know, that's, I'm sorry. But yeah, anyway guys, like always, I'm that guy Perps, and I'll see you then.